Hey guys, welcome back to new video and in this video, we're gonna see how to use custom font in our Kotlin multi-platform project. So without wasting any time, let's get started with our video. So first thing first, we're gonna download the custom font from Google font. So for that, open up your Chrome browser and in this Chrome browser, just type Google font. Click the first link. And in this search, I'm gonna use outfit, by the way, I liked outfit font family very much but if you want to use any other font family it's totally up to you just click on this outfit get font and download the font family it is start downloading as the file for you which you can access it in your download over here you can see double click on it to expose all of the resources in this folder we have a static and this has all of our ttf file that we can very easily use it now the question is where do I need to put this TTF file and most of the people will say put it in the shared module. Well it is not possible because the responsibility of shared module is to hold all of your core business logic which you want to share across the platform. It does not handle the resources which is platform specific like for Android and for iOS. So we're going to put this TTF file for Android in the resources as you can see over here and for the iOS we're gonna put that thing in this iOS application so let's begin our journey for Android only and after that we're gonna jump on the iOS application so first in the resources let's create a Android resource directory font and in this font I'm gonna drag and drop all of my font family that we have so these are my font families and I have renamed all of the font family which is accepted in this Android resource directory. Scroll down, open up your shared common main and in KMP theme, I'm gonna create here an interface, application font. It's a sealed interface that has few data object in it, which will point toward the resources. So first we have outfit black. Similarly, we have a few more, like outfit bold, extra bold, light, light, medium, a regular semi bold and thin. Next, let's create a file and the file name is platform utils and in this file, I'm going to create a type alias so that for us, it's very easy to understand what it represent. So we have platform font and it holds any type. We have an expect function to platform font pass your application font size which will use only on the iOS side we have context type is any and we can use context only for the Android and return type of this thing is platform font let's write actual for this expect first for Android so here at the top I'm gonna create a late init variable create Android font resource it's a lambda which accept application font and context and return type of this thing is typeface make sure this typeface is coming from android.graphics now in this function first we're gonna check the context type if it is a type of context then only we'll proceed with the next line and in the next line we'll use create android app font resources pass the application font and the context okay so now it's time to initialize create android font resource so for that, jump on your Compose application and in this KMP theme, let's create a file naming font provider. This has a function in it, font resources. Just below to it, we have one more private function, create Android app font resources. Create Android font resource, use a pair of parentheses. We have application font and context. And in this, we'll use when expression, mention our application font. And in this application font, we have various types like we have outfit black. So for outfit black, we'll use our font outfit black. For bold, we'll use r.font.bold. For extra bold, we'll use r.font.extra bold. For light, r.font.extra light. For light will use r dot font dot light for medium just use r dot font dot medium for the regular r dot font dot 
regular for the semi bold r dot font dot semi bold for out outfit thin r dot font dot outfit thin okay so this will provide us the resource id so well res id and at the end we're gonna use your resource compare dot get font requirement is context and the resource id okay so if you check the type of this thing is which is typeface optional but we are using here non-optional so just use here optional and if it is a case of null we'll use error which says no not found all right so we are pretty much done with the two platform font actual implementation for android now within our android main directory i'm gonna create here a file name is font plus extension and in this file we have an object naming fonts that contain a function to font family so it basically converts the typeface into font family that you can very easily access it and input is application font and context a return type is font family make sure this font family is coming from android.compose.ui.text.font and at the end we return the font family and requirement of this font family is typeface so we can very easily get that typeface with the help of two platform font pass your application font null for the size and for the context simply pass the context and type cast it into typeface all right so now we can very easily access all of our font family within this app.kt but before that let me initialize create android font resource so to do that in this init font resources i'm gonna use create android app font resources and use this init font resources in my main activity just before this uh, enable h to h function call init font resources all right so now let's use it within this column use text says outfit font family style text style we have a font family parameter now use fonts dot to font family and pass application font dot outfit regular and in place of context just use here a variable naming context initialize with the help of local context dot current and pass it okay so let's execute it to see whether it is working or not okay so as you can see it is working this is our outfit uh, font family over here all right so we are pretty much done for the android platform now let's do the same thing for ios platform so this is my ios application and in this ios application first i'm gonna put all of the custom font resources so for that i'm gonna create a folder and the folder name is fonts and in this font i'm gonna simply drag and drop all of my font families that we have like this open up your info.p list and now it's time to establish connection between this font and ios application so for that information property list click on this plus and use your font provided by the application open it and one by one you can add all of your items so first i'm gonna add my outfit black dot ttf similarly you can add all of the other font families that we have just click on the plus similarly you can do the outfit for bold.ttf next we have outfit regular.ttf next we have outfit semi bold.ttf and lastly we have outfit thin outfit dash thin.ttf okay so i have added all of the font families that we have now open up your android studio ide as you can see this is my info.plist xml file it looks something like this i'm gonna simply copy this stuff and use it later on okay so in the common main we have platform utils it's time to write actual for ios main and in this first we want to check the application font so when application font and we have various kind of uh, branches like outfit black 
or fit bold so just for the reference i'm gonna paste all of the file name comment it out and use it so for the outfit black i'll use outfit black for the outfit bold i'm using here outfit bold similarly for the extra bold so this provides us font name and now it's time to use this font name so ui font dot font with name mention the font name in this and next we need to pass the size so i'm sure this size is never null so for that reason i'm gonna use here require not null pass the size and convert this thing in a form of double so the return type of this function if you check it's a platform font and platform font is nothing but type any so if it is null we'll use error no font found and return it so we are done with the actual of ios main now it's time to create an extension within this ios main so right click new it's a file and the file name is font plus extension and in this file we have an object naming fonts just like we have within android main function to font pass your application font and the size so next parameter is size type is float and return type of this function is ui font and this ui font is coming from platform.uikit dot ui font return to platform font pass your application font and the size last parameter is null and type cast this thing in a form of ui font so we are pretty much done with this to font function or to be more specific let's call it to ui font now we're gonna open our ios application and start using this to ui font so for that open up your ios application and in this ios application i'm gonna create a new file and the file name is font plus extension so it's an extension over application font so first we're gonna import share next we're gonna import the swift ui and it's an extension over application font and within this in this extension we have a function and the function name is font just pass the size type of the size is float and return type of this function is font let ui font will use our fonts dot shared get ui font mention the application font and size is coming in a form of size at the end just use font and pass the ui font return it right so we are done with this extension now it's time to use it go to your content view and within the this text use font application font let's use outline bold dot font and size is 24 execute our app okay so we have an issue and the issue is font doesn't have get ui font so let me check okay so it says to ui font copy this come back to your project and paste it okay re-execute it all right this time build succeeded and our emulator start executing our application there you go this is our outfit font family this is my center text so by using this approach you can actually use custom font in your Kotlin multi-platform project if you like this video subscribe my channel and also write your opinions in the comments we will meet in our next video where we will discuss something new about kmp till that goodbye